What's up y'all, it's your girl Dr. Nina and today we are talking about what? Body odor. Now body odor is often quite natural and most times caused by sweating. But when it's not due to a medical condition and we walking around smelling like old musty rooms, 20 year old tennis shoes with a permanent sweaty foot in them, chili cheese Fritos and Cheetos, we got a problem on our hands. We trying to keep it funky but not like that. Each person's odor is influenced by diet, gender, health, medication and times of life like puberty. Lord, puberty. And people who sweat excessively, like those with hypohydrosis, may experience a higher level of body odor. So sweat itself is odorless, but it's when it mixes with the bacteria on our skin that it becomes an odor that we might not like. And I like to focus on specific areas that we're going to talk about today like your surroundings, armpits, feet behind the mirrors, belly button, the love below or your genitals, and general cleansing and odor tips. And as you all know, I've dealt with body changes including things like hydrotonitis superativa, I've been obese in the past, and I love to work out a lot now so I'm always sweating. So y'all let's talk odor and down below I want you guys to let me know some of the things you're doing for body odor and some of the videos you'd like to see in the future from me. Now remember if nothing working for you, you definitely need to go see your doctor. And all items I'm discussing today can be found down below in that good old information section. Now let's go. And y'all don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. A key thing for me is caring for my surrounding areas, my clothing, my bedding, and even my towels. Things like your sheets, comforters, pillowcases, covers that you lay under around around the house. Insoles of your shoes, bathroom rugs, carpets, closets, and workout clothes can all carry a heavy odor. My towels and my clothes, they receive a deep cleaning and they usually get cleaned in at least a cycle of hot water. And at least every other day. I like to make sure that the towels I use after showering are rotated out at least every two days. After a while, they're filled with bacteria and odor and who wants to get out of the shower and wipe themselves with that? I also make it a point to change my clothes often when I'm sweating heavily. I work out a lot so I like to wash those workout clothes at least every other day. I clean my sheets two times a week and look if you're sleeping on somebody else's sheets verify that they cleaning them. Pillowcases get cleaned at least twice a week. I also vacuum carpeted areas and I put like a little bit of tea tree or essential oils into the filter to make sure that it gives the house and the rooms a nice smell. Keep in mind with clothing the natural fibers help your skin to breathe. Natural fibers include wool, silk, or cotton. And we might think that we don't need to spend a lot of money on detergent. I'm not saying that you do but I'm saying that you should find the best thing that works for you. You want your detergents to work to cut odors not to just cover them up. I really attend to my armpits because those bad boys can carry all the odor. I like to regularly wash them with antibacterial soap which cuts down on a lot of the bacteria which also helps my hydrotonitis superativa. I know a lot of us say we don't give no F's but if you're concerned about odor you need to be concerned about the hair under your armpits. Hair slows down the evaporation of sweat giving the bacteria more time to break down into a smelly substance. And shaving has actually been found to cut down on odors in that area in particular. I've mentioned to you all before the differences between deodorants and antiperspirants. Deodorants make the skin more acidic, making it difficult for bacteria to thrive. Antiperspirants block the sweating action of the glands, resulting in less sweat. Now I feel like the deodorant goddess mainly because I've tried several in order to keep the occurrences of my HS lower. One that I've really liked that I've shown you all before is by Native. I'm happy that I partnered with them to bring you guys today's video. Now I've spoken of deodorant choices over here and I've gone towards more natural over time. Now Native deodorant is filled with ingredients from nature which makes it a great choice for me. They have coconut oil in them for antimicrobial properties and shea butter for moisturizing. It's also formulated without aluminum, parabens, and sulfates. It's also not sticky and it dries really quickly with me bouncing all over the place. There's classic scents for men and women and they include coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, and eucalyptus and mint. I still love my lavender and rose scent the most. It just smells so good. It's so soft and so fresh. It's even past my workout test and keeps me fresh while exercising. Their website is also extra easy to use. Three deodorants are normally 
only $36, but if you use my link down below in the information section and my code BABYDOLL, you'll receive them for $24. That's 33% off plus free shipping. So make sure you check them out at the link down below and use my code. And don't say Dr. Nina ain't never did nothing for you. Now our general body and our love below need extra special attention. And I have plenty of videos on this, so I've linked those down below for you. But let's get into some good and general things to remember. Overall, the body needs to be thoroughly cleaned. So some people like to hit those hot spots or take whole baths, but man, sometimes the whole block is hot. And what is a whole bath, you ask? It's washing the face, underarms, bootay, vagina, brushing your teeth, and usually in a sink and very quickly. Basically hitting all funk producing areas. I personally like to shower at least once a day, but twice if the body is calling for it. I never wear pads and tampons past the time that they need to, and I keep a stockpile available, mainly because that's gonna build up on your odors. I've also started to work in washable pads, which are easy to clean and quite comfy. When it comes to my precious lamb, I like the honey pot or Pangea wash. Otherwise, if it ain't water, it ain't touching it. And just like your armpits, hair removal there is important as well to cut down on odor. I take time to gently trim her up. We don't have to shave it bald unless we want to, but it does help to cut down on the odor. Never any harsh perfumes or flowers down there. It usually seems to backfire and cause things like bacterial vaginosis, which will have you smelling like a fishy fool. And also it's important to go to the doctor for yearly pap smears, STI and STD checkups. And if you have any foul odors, you also wanna see your doctor. We are not gonna play home remedy hero when it comes to infections y'all. Now smelly feet can be the bane of your existence and you know it's bad when you just stand in there and you get a whiff of what the hell coming up all the way from the floor. I wash my feet at least once a day with lukewarm to warm water to cut bacteria. And I dry them well and try to focus on in between the toes. And I like wearing socks made of man made fibers and wool because it helps the sweat to escape. And sometimes I find myself needing to make a sock change, especially if my feet have sweated through the day. And I try to rotate my tennis shoes because I sweat so much and they need overnight time to properly dry. And also after a workout, don't just be walking around in your tennis shoes because you wanna get that sweat out of there quickly. The more you're walking around and the more the sweat is dropping down into your shoe, the worse it's gonna smell. A foot just being enclosed causes odor. And the thick skin on our feet is important to within in reason remove that because it actually holds on to odor. So I try to keep a light pumice stone around to gently remove that skin. And you may want to ask your doctor or pharmacist about foot antiperspirants or deodorants that can help to cut down on smell. The whole face, neck, hair, and teeth area carries a lot of odor. So I like to not only keep it cute, but clean. Now, could you imagine having flawless makeup and hair and it stinks up close? And behind those ears, the smell when it's not clean smells like three deaths in a hot box. I wash my hair regularly to avoid stinky buildup. And because earring bags smell like wrong when they stink, I make sure that I gently scrub behind my ears daily. If I have scalp issues, flares of eczema or dandruff, I try to make sure that I see my doctor to get medicated shampoo because that can also carry heavy odor. I wash my face, ears, and upper neck to keep it clear of bacteria and build up of products. I also like to wipe hydrogen peroxide or alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, behind my ears as well. And this keeps my piercings clean since I have so many. And I've told you guys this before, but at least once a week, I like to let my earrings, especially the earring bags, sit in some isopropyl alcohol for about 15 minutes to loosen up the dirt and rinse it off really thoroughly. I even and frequently clean my headphones and earphones. I brush my teeth at least twice daily, morning and night. I floss, I use a tongue scraper, and I keep mouthwash around. And on my upper body, I love to use essential oils diluted with a carrier oil like olive oil with tea tree oil or a lemon-based oil or even grapefruit seed oil. It makes me feel like I smell better naturally and it also makes me just feel better. Belly button, boob, and midsection care are super important for me. Places on our skin that have natural folds provide a wonderful place for bacteria to thrive and add it with sweat can equal odor. I wash my belly button daily in the shower, but when I think of it, I like to take a little bit of antibacterial soap and run it through there as well. I rinse it out with water and dry it completely with a dry paper towel. And y'all, I haven't been small about the chest all my life. And if you look at one of my recent videos, I talk about my breast reduction story and I had 35 H's. And when I was younger, my mother taught me the importance of keeping the under area of the breast dry and clean. Not only by washing it, but also washing your bras and changing them out often so that they don't carry odor. I've also told you all my little trick of not only using a little bit of deodorant under those areas like the under boob and things of that sort, but also carrying a little folded paper towel so that
that you can dab those areas, especially when you're out and about, to keep them from collecting moisture. And it might be a good idea to avoid super tight clothing because sometimes it could reduce your risk of fungal infections. But if that smell continues, make sure you go see your doctor. My doctor has actually prescribed me an antibacterial ointment that works well, especially if I get a minor irritation or infection about the belly button. And they also sell over-the-counter kinds. Y'all, here are some general tips that I live by. I try to reduce the foods that make me sweat, like spicy foods or hot peppers. And unfortunately for some of us, other foods can increase our odor, like eggs, garlic, refined and processed foods, sugars, hydrogenated fats, trans fats, artificial colors, and chemicals found in foods as well. And drinks with alcohol and caffeine could increase sweat as well. Now what I do try to add into my diet is mint, celery, cilantro, parsley, thyme, oregano, rosemary, sage and kale, and a lot of water. And if your body smells super different, it's important to get that checked out as well. A fruity smell could indicate diabetes. And liver and kidney diseases are often categorized by a bleach-like smell because of the toxin buildup in the body. So y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I love talking about these things and though they might seem like common sense, everybody doesn't know them. And also, it's great for us to discuss ways that we can better ourselves. So make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.